So here we have 2 plus 4 plus 3. When adding, it's often easiest to start with the largest number. So 4 plus 3 is 7. We still need to add the 2, so 7 plus 2 equals 9. Now we have 4 plus 5 plus 8. Again, we can start with the largest, so let's add 8 and 5. Now to do this, we can use bridging. So we start on 8. How many more do we need to get to 10? 2 more gets us to 10, but we want to add 5. So how many more do we need to add? We need 3 more, so that makes 13. So with bridging, we think how many more do we need to get to 10, or to the next multiple of 10, and then we add the rest of the number. Now we still need to add 4, so 13 plus 4 equals 17. Now we have four numbers, 4, 1, 6 and 7. But I've noticed that two of these numbers make a number bond to 10. Which two numbers here can make a number bond to 10? Well, 6 and 4 make 10. So here I'm not starting with the largest number. I'm starting with the two numbers that make a number bond to 10. And now I need to add 7 and 1. So 10 add 7 gives us 17, and then adding 1 takes us to 18. So you can see, it was a good idea to start with our number bond to 10, because adding a single digit number to 10 is fairly easy. Now we have 4, 7, 6 and 3. Well this is interesting, which numbers here make a number bond to 10? Well, 4 and 6 form a number bond to 10, but we can also make 10 by adding 7 and 3. So now, we've added all our numbers, so we can add 10 and 10, and that gives us 20. Now pause the video and see if you can add these four numbers, and start by looking for number bonds to 10. We can make 10 with 5 plus 5, so now we need to add 7 and 6. So 10 plus 7 is 17. Now for 17 plus 6, we can use bridging. So if we start on 17, how many more do we need to get to the next multiple of 10? So how many more do we need to get to 20? Well, 3 more takes us to 20. So we've added 3, and we want to add 6. So we need to add 3 more, and that takes us to 23. Now pause the video and add these four numbers. So I can see a number bond to 10. 2 plus 8 makes 10. Now we can add 9 to make 19. And we have one more 9 to add. So 19 plus 9. And to add 9, we know that we can add 10 and then take away 1. So starting on 19, we can add 10 to make 29, and then subtract 1 to give us 28.